Hi everyone. So it has been almost a year, uh, actually slightly more than a year since I started coding without any ex previous experience. And in this video, I thought I'll cover how I got into coding, what I did to get my first job, uh, what side projects I've done and portfolio that got me a job. Just yeah, how has my first 12 months in tech been? Maybe this video might inspire someone who's looking to get into coding or tech, or this is just supposed to be a reflection just so I can capture how these first 12 months for me have been and hopefully share something helpful. Maybe you guys learn something interesting from this. Before I got into coding, I actually was at university studying chemistry and in August, I finished my degree at university, but I didn't really want to pursue a career in chemistry. So all throughout the year, I was looking to get into a job or some sort of graduate program that is gonna teach me how to code and just getting into tech because on my master's program, uh, we, I worked with a model that my supervisor had created with Python and that made me really interested in coding. So I wanted to pursue this as a career, but I wasn't really having any luck with many job applications for tech graduate schemes. So at the end, I ended up finding a bootcamp, a bootcamp that would teach you how to code and then uh, you can use that bootcamp to then find a job. I was very happy when I landed on that because I remember going through a lot of tech graduate scheme applications and getting rejected over and over. I remember in one of the interviews, I got to the final stage of this tech grad scheme. They just started sharing their screen and they put like a live coding interview in front of me, which I wasn't expecting. I remember them asking me questions about what a binary search is. And I looked so clueless. That was, that was a really embarrassing moment. And yeah, needless to say, I failed that interview. That was the closest I had gotten to getting into one of these tech grad schemes, but I was unsuccessful. So I ended up finding a coding bootcamp and late October or start of November, that's when I actually started the program. And that's where you can see my first few commits, 11 commits on October 19th. Once I started that program, I realized that my, my end goal was that by the end of this program, I need to have a job secured. So it was very nice that I discovered GitHub because I told myself I'll use GitHub as a way to track my progress and also just to build public proof that I have been learning how to code, that, that will help me with my job applications. Uh, I made a promise to myself to code every single day and push it to GitHub just to build some social proof that I have been learning how to code. And as you can see, that's why it's uh, a lot of green hair. I remember missing a couple of days here. This was around Christmas time. I really wanted to code here, but I think I had some guests and stuff, so I didn't get to code on these two days. Yeah, but I was coding every single day on the program and then in the evenings as well. I was just trying to absorb as much knowledge as as possible about learning new stuff, JavaScript, HTML, CSS, React. And that was a really grindy period. And I told myself that until I land a job, I'm not gonna stop committing to GitHub. So I think midway through the program, around like maybe mid-December, I built like a small portfolio, put all my projects that I've been working on on there. And then I started applying to loads of jobs, any entry level coding job, any entry level developer job. I applied to, I'm gonna say more than a hundred applications. And for most of them, I got rejected, but I did start to land some interviews. Then around February, start of February, I think I got successful with one of my interviews. That was my first ever job offer. I was so happy when I when I got my first ever job offer. That was really, that really felt like a point that, you know, I finally made it after like a really grindy period. And uh, I remember by the end, I had two job offers and I accepted one of them. So I started work, I think around March, start of March. At the same time, while I had the job or slightly before I started the job, I picked up a side project to build like a desktop application that was a new challenge for me because i had only learned html css react you know typescript javascript so i could only do web dev stuff but i needed to build like a desktop offline application and I, I, that's when I used Electron and this is that period where I built that desktop application and that was quite successful. I'll show you guys that project later in the video. Now I'm here. So around September took like a, this is when I kind of took like not a break, but just trying to adjust to the work life and stuff like that. Not getting much time to code, but I was still trying to just learn new stuff and stuff like that. And now I'm in this period, September, October. That's, that's now where I'm just trying to learn new stuff, build new stuff, just trying to like keep increasing my knowledge. So uh, what I'll do is I'll try to, next thing I'll do is I'll show you guys the portfolio that I used to get my first job, which was in the, which was uh, what I built in this period. So this is my first ever portfolio that I used to land my first developer job. I remember just building this, putting, just making like a simple page, putting all these technologies that I've been working with, all the projects that I working on and 
I remember just putting it on there and then using this in every job application that I have. And then I also, during the time, like uh, when I was on the program, I also learned some creative coding. So all this was coded in uh, using P5.js, which was really interesting to learn. So you're just creating random patterns, stuff like that. I was really proud of this one. So yeah, I did all of this and then put this on a portfolio and then I just kept applying to jobs. I remember getting a lot of rejections, but uh, at the end, this is a portfolio that actually landed me a job. So I was quite happy. I remember this is the project where I worked with the Spotify API for the first time to just fetch albums and then display them on the front end. That was really nice. And this is uh, this is what got me a job. As you can see, it's very simple, nothing too complicated, just two pages. This creative coding page is just a separate section, but mostly it's just one page with all the projects on it. And uh, you can go on any project, just read a bit about the project what tech stack it used and you can either check out the live site or the code. This is what, what recruiters could see. This is what I used at every application. And honestly, it proved quite successful because at the end, I ended up getting like a couple of interviews and eventually a job offers, right? I would say that this was quite successful. It's very simple, very minimal, and it ended up lending me a job offer. So um, I was very happy with this. And now let me show you the side project that I worked on. My first ever side project, which was building a desktop application. This is the side project that I worked on and this was pretty much supposed to be used at the convention that I attend every year and a volunteer there and this was for the lost property and left luggage department so all this work was previously being done on paper and I promised them that once I learn how to code I'll build you guys an application to do all this stuff so pretty much people who attend the convention they if they've lost an item they can just come and report that item you register it and uh, sorry th these errors are from uh, because I don't have the current I, I don't currently have the database file in that that's why you're seeing these errors not really relevant this is the left luggage section where users can come in, sign up, they can store some lug luggage in that department. So yeah, this, this app was quite helpful. I also learned how to connect this to a printer and print receipts for these left luggage users. And that was honestly quite challenging, but also fun at the same time. I was really proud of this application. It was quite successful. I remember at the end, they ended up processing like 10,000 items being handled using this application. And then that was quite successful. I think they served like a thousand, 2000 people on this program. So I was quite happy that the whole program, the application just worked without any problems and yeah that was a side project i worked on that's been pretty much my journey mostly now i'm just trying to learn new stuff so for example since i came from a boot camp i don't have the knowledge of data structures algorithms just the fundamental knowledge so my goal is just to in the future do a lot of lead code, uh, learn data structure algorithms. I know that in my official job, I don't need it, but I think it's still very helpful to have the fundamental understanding of how stuff works. I remember in the middle during March time, I also tried learning Zig. That was quite fun. I tried building a desktop interface using Zig. I think I managed to build it. That was quite fun. But then I knew that if I wanted to build something meaningful, something actually usable, then it would take me a really long time. So I'm just deciding to stick with the current skills that I have, uh, TypeScript, React, Next.js, try to build useful stuff using those technologies and then I will try to learn new stuff. So yeah, these past 12 months have been crazy for me professionally because I made this crazy switch of getting into tech. The fact that I made it this far, built some cool stuff on the way. I'm very, honestly, I'm very proud of it. And honestly, I think that industry in general is probably the most welcoming and the most accessible uh, out of anything because all you really need is a computer and an internet connection and you can get going you can start learning code how to build stuff so yeah if you're thinking about it then there's no reason to hesitate all it requires is, as you can see a couple of months of hard work and you can do it like you can get a job you can get into coding and it's a very fulfilling experience it's very accomplishing so yeah i just wanted to talk about my experience this is what my first 12 months have been like and i'm very excited for my next 12 months 24 months, two years, three years, four years. And yeah, uh, feel very happy with my job. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful or you found this interesting to listen to. If you have any questions, if you want me to dig deep into anything, into any side project that I worked on or my portfolio or my job applying process, then let me know. I can talk about that. Otherwise, thank you. Thanks for watching.